Good morning from the allotment, this is Jeff. Listen, if you want any information at all about how to grow for flowers and plants and uh, vegetables, go to our link in the, the uh, Vineyard Compassion site. But in the meantime, these are Cosmos. These are nice, lovely big flowers. These are also really good for uh, dispelling aphids. Aphids hate being around these, along with nasturtium and onions, all that kind of thing. So in amongst your flowers, you can have an onion, which aphids hate. So it's a good idea to companion plant. Anyway, we're going to take these out and put them in nice pots. See you in a minute. The stage we're at now is we've got the cosmos here. We we'll need to put them in another pot. Now, we're just going to use whatever we have because that's how simple gardening can be. So literally, just make sure you don't muck around the roots too much. Take some soil with you, that doesn't really matter. And we're just going to transplant them into a bigger pot as a little group of plants. So there'll be all these plants in one big pot, but it'll be a lovely little bunch of flowers in a couple of weeks' time. Let's go on to the next stage. We're at this stage now, we're going to pot up some of these flowers, maybe in groups of five or six, and the pots this size because we have them, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I've just got some good old general compost, simple as this, fill it three quarters, and I'm going to use this water saving gel, okay? Now what this does is if you're away for the day and you're worried about your garden plants, what you can do is you just sprinkle, just because it's a small pot, a little third, sprinkle it in there, and what that does is that absorbs a lot of the moisture in, the, in here and when it rains and you just mix it in and what that does when it gets wet it, it kind of expands and gets bigger retaining moisture for your plants now that's important that means you can go away for the day or two and it'll be all right next stage these are cosmos they're different varieties different colors they're beautiful little things they really are and these have big flower heads like this yellows and reds and purples and oranges um, and these, like I said before, these are really, 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 really good for planting in your garden and for keeping away bugs, like aphids and green fly. So if you have these in amongst your vegetables, they act like marigold. So, uh, so these are really easy to plant. All we're doing here is just putting them in this pot. You can work on making it look nice once it's in. All you may do is make sure they're upright and they've got good contact with the roots and the surrounding space. Um, five or six in the pot, it's no big deal. It's just because we have to plant them on, we're using anything we have. Gardening isn't difficult. Just use common sense. That's the real good approach. There's obviously things that you can do to make things easier for yourself and to make your garden blossom better without bugs. Yet again, easy. Onions, nasturtiums, uh, aster, cosmos, all these different flowers. Put them onto your bed anyway. They give you flowers, they look great, but they, they repel the bugs. And remember, if you want to get involved, if you're interested, Follow the link below, please do. Vineyard Compassion, the allotment, the grow project. Please get involved. We're all a group, we're a great community, we're all growing stuff together.